Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I have got a new Customer Returns Salvage Palette. Paid $400 for it, and that's all in with shipping. We've got Sven here. Let's get into it. All right, so this is a new liquidator. He's a local guy, super honest guy. He never wants anyone to lose money. Um, this is a salvage returns palette. Um, and so we're gonna jump in and see what's in here. But what I wanted to give you uh, before we jump in is what do I expect to see out of a salvage palette? So there's various different things. When you get a salvage customer returns palette, you're gonna have stuff that's broken, missing parts, or out of the box. And really out of the box is the best condition you're looking for. This is gonna be all stuff that probably will not resell on amazon.com. We will probably resell it on Facebook Marketplace, eBay for parts, things like that. So you have to think literally outside the box or outside the palette to be able to sell a lot of the stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Me and my buddy Sven, we're gonna be hanging out today and we're gonna see what we find in this palette. All right, so let's just go ahead and just pull. Well, I, I it think works. it works. So here's Sven. Oh my goodness, he's huge. So he looks in good condition. Look at him. I think that's probably the. Yeah, display model. model. The display model. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it uh, doesn't it have its, uh, what's that white thing? Yeah, it's got the barcode on it. It comes with the carrot. I don't know what the carrot does. Play with Sven. Um, it looks like he does. He chomp chomp. Oh, a kid can actually sit on this and ride it. It will hold a kid's weight. So that's cool. And it makes lots of noise. So the floor <laughs> models are often yeah. salvaged. Yeah. So that's it looks nice to me. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Well, we've got these which I know I will reuse. These are awesome. I bought totes just recently. I just bought a bunch of new totes, not even as sturdy as these, um, for around 20 bucks a piece for this size. And so these are nice. We'll see if we can find the lids, but even if they don't have the lids, I'll definitely use them. Um, so that's a good find for me. Three of them there. Let's see. And we've got a bunch of paper towels, which will either get used by me here in the office. I use them a lot for my dry erase boards, just cleaning off product that I find that might be dusty from liquidators. Um, and then what I'll probably do is donate a bunch of these to our local food pantry because food pantry, yes, needs food, but also needs these kinds of items as well. All right, we have a bunch of hangers. So obviously I can't resell this one. <laughs> Not very useful. So. I expect to find trash in here. I do expect to find some trash. Um, I actually love these kinds of hangers, but um, that's probably not a resellable item. It'll probably just get it thrown in my closet and I will get rid of all the wire hangers I have. Um, unless you wanna put a pile of them on Facebook Marketplace. That is possible. Oh, another broken one. Ooh. So this is definitely, looking at it, it does not like it. It's never been used. I don't see any hair on it or anything. So this is a brush hair dryer. Um, it's out of the box, clearly. I am tempted to just go ahead and plug this I in. Think it's the display. Might be the display model. You want to try to plug it in? Yeah, I can try to plug it in. Plug it right Ooh, I don't know if I can get to that one. Um, I don't think you're gonna get to that one either. Let's see. I can probably reach this one. Hold on. All right. All right, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, that's hot and cold. Yeah, that works good. So it's basically a hairdryer with a brush, a Revlon. So this is definitely resellable, um, probably on the eBay platform because it doesn't come with its original box. So that's gonna be a good find. So why do you think that was salvaged? I would guess it, it was probably returned without the box 
or it was the floor display model. Now, I don't think it was the display model. Usually with display models, you see screws and stuff through it where they mounted it to the actual shelving. So to me, my guess is it was just returned without the box. But I don't think it's been used at all because this looks totally clean. So other than a little dust from maybe being in this palette, I think we're pretty good. All right, what's in here? This is a quilt. Oh, it's a bed. Um, nope, it's just a, oh, look, it comes with the packaging. So basically this got returned. It's a certified standard t-shirt soft full jersey quilt. And basically they just couldn't get it back in its packaging. Those are impossible. To yeah, so to fold it right. So you could probably sell this used like new. I will go through and inspect it, make sure there's no hair on it. I don't think there is. I'll probably fold it nicely, put it in my own clear poly bag, to keep it safe, and sell this either in the household sections on Poshmark or on Facebook Marketplace because it's a larger item. It'll ship for heavy. But I definitely think I can get some money out of these. And those quilts usually sell for a lot. So that's a return for sure. And we've got some blankets in here. I'm going to get the shelves out of our way. So this is shelving similar to what you see kind of behind me. Only I believe these are longer shelves and maybe a little bit more durable than what I've got back there. So I know I spent about, I don't know. I think $120 a piece. Yeah. Yeah, about that for this. So this one, if I um, sell it on Facebook Marketplace, oh, look, it does have the barcode and stuff on it. It's just the original tape and stuff. I don't know if it came inside of a box or not, but it looks like it has all five. I'd have to look and see if it has all the legs, but it is a Sterilite, which is a really good brand for sh this plastic shelving. So I'm looking at maybe like 50 bucks for this one. Well, maybe even more than that, maybe 75, but that would be Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, looky, looky. I found a lid. Now it's a little beat up. But if I'm going to keep it, that's fine. And somebody might still just want this. I don't think they'd want this lid, though. But the totes are going to be awesome. You never know what people buy in Facebook Marketplace. Ooh. What else we got in here? What is this? Shower rod. It's a tension curtain shower rod. This is brand new. You can clearly tell it's never been used because it's still got the padding and stuff. Repackaged. So it was $16, now it's $11.21, you can tell. Probably because this is... Uh, Probably the display model. Yeah, the, well, this packaging's just been open. Yeah. So this is definitely a resellable item. Um, but it looks like it's in... So that's one of those out-of-box conditions that I said I was really looking for. Here's some lampshades. Set of two, which is awesome because most people like to buy them in sets. Here's another set of lampshades. Great condition. Now see these I would consider as new. There's nothing wrong with them. That might be the customer return side. Yeah, it must be the customer return side. So I might be able to resell these on Amazon because they're in good condition. That I was surprised to find. I did not expect that. All right, airbeds we have attempted to sell. The only bummer about airbeds is, they're difficult for online sales. So this is something that sells great locally. So you're going to Facebook Marketplace these probably or garage sale these because they weigh so much that by the time you stick the shipping weight in, you basically can't get anybody to buy them. So this, that'll be how I sell this one. We'll have to blow it up, make sure that it's actually resellable. Now this box is a little beat up. So what I'll do is I'll open up the box, looks at, look at it. If it looks like it's still sealed, like it's brand new in the box, it may be that just they got rid of it and threw it in the salvage box because of the condition of the box. It may still be brand new. So I'll check that out. All right, let's see what else we got. Here's another hanger. My arms are short. Might have to go get the, the ladder, but we'll reach what we can right now. All right, what is this? If you don't mind, I'm gonna come over here just to kind of figure out. This looks like a return to me. <laughs> it's come even in a Target bag. It's a bubble machine. So it looks like everything is there. It's just the packaging is demolished. So somebody took it out. Uh, doesn't even look like they attempted to use it. So I don't know if this was dis the display model or if it just came out of the packaging. 
but that's definitely going to be resellable if it works. I don't think it has batteries in it. Yeah, it doesn't have any batteries in it. So we'll have to stick some batteries in it and test it. Okay, Ziploc storage quartz. This will definitely, just because it's been opened, it'll stay here. I can store some things in it. Um, I use them all the time. Ooh, this looks interesting. Wait a minute. The box is dryer. No, there's another one. Is really? Yeah. Look. The cool thing now is it's the exact same item. I can use this to look it up. So that's going to be awesome. And this one might be a used like new. This one has been used. You can see hair in it. And so it may be that I take this one out, put the other one in, and now I can sell it used like new. This one, clearly I'm not going to sell used like new because it's been used. So it's used. Um, but I could use the one that is brand new and put it in this box. There you go. See? You got to think outside the box when selling stuff that is in this condition. All right. So we've got a really nice, this is like a quilt that just couldn't get refolded. Really nice condition. It's got a barcode on it. So it looks like it was folded and it's got the little tags holding it in its folding shape, but it's probably got returned, but it does have a barcode so I can scan it and see what kind of condition. It does look brand new. There's no hair, no dust, no anything on it. What is this? This looks like a return similar to the bubble blower. So we're going to see what kind of condition this is in. You like my mess back there? All right, this is what? Rad Robots. So this has clearly been used. Look at that little guy. So yeah, it's just been all taken out of the packaging and then returned. Here's some other pieces. So I can try to put it together if it does work, throw it on eBay, sell it for- Is that batteries in it? No. Yeah, so that's something that I'll have to test it. If it works, then I might be able to make, you know, 10, 15 bucks out of it. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have an opened feminine products thing. So I could, it's not been used, it's just, but I could tape it back. What do you normally do with those? Those I donate to the local food pantry, um, just because there's nothing wrong with them. And sometimes if they're open like that, they'll take them out and just sell, you know, put them in individual packaging, like throw them in Ziploc baggies and they give out sets to people. Um, so depending on the packaging. Here's another blanket. It's got little tassel things on it. Looks clean to me. Were you selling this stuff on Hooked on Pickens? Yes, I will probably post a lot of this on Hooked on Pickens, especially stuff that doesn't ship real heavy. So maybe some of these blankets will end up on Hooked on Pickens. So I think I'm guesstimating, I don't know. I'll do, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do, uh, a second video that's going to cover all the numbers. I know I've thrown out some numbers, but I haven't looked anything up. So what I'll do is I'll probably use the barcodes, look everything up, see what I can come up with. See, this one is another one that has that packaging. They just couldn't get back together. Um, those are so soft. All right. Those are huge blankets too. And so I will do a second video. So watch for the second video and then I'll be able to let you know how much uh, here's a curtain, curtain panel, can look that one up. Here is, looks like another curtain tablecloth, tablecloth. So housewares stuff doesn't sell for a ton. Ooh, is this a mermaid? It is, look. <laughs> it's a mermaid tail. I've seen these in the stores before. See, that's brand new. It just doesn't have tags on it. It's clearly never been used. So I think I can easily sell it. And the cool thing is, is if I can figure out where it's listed, I can find a stock photo and then take pictures of it regularly as well. Okay, what is this? Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. The, boy, that's some invisible thinking putty. I mean, I've just never seen it so clear in my life. Actually, it's not in there. Hey, it never dries out. Never dries out because because it's not there. Hey, you gotta think about it. Though. Think about it. Somebody's selling empty jars of thinking putty. Thinking putty. You gotta think about it. All right, and then this is missing the Nerf gun, which maybe will be in here. We'll see. I think it's, a, I think it's right there in the middle. Oh yeah, I see it. 
Here, another blanket with tassels on it. Okay, a little rack. Look at that. Okay, so this is the reason why it was in salvage, right here. Because it's bent. It's bent yeah. Can I use my muscles to drain it? No, I can't. <laughs> Maybe my husband can straighten it. He's strong. This looks like a picture frame. It's missing the back. You'd be shocked how many people buy this kind of stuff for crafting. Oh, there's the rest of it. Even the glass that's not broken. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah, let's do this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you the full picture here. Literally the full picture. Look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't Ta latch it. Ta-da! Break, Break it. I didn't latch it tight enough, but... Let's try that one more time. It was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? Ta-da! Beautiful. <laughs> so, this little bolt just needs to be tightened. All right, what else is in there? I could just tip it over and get into it. You, you want to cut it down? No, oh, I can just keep, tip it over. Uh, this, oh, it's filling. There's a cut in it. It looks like somebody box cuttered it. That's why it's in there. Okay, mini night light. Oh, poor Minnie Mouse, poor Minnie. Clearly salvaged. Clearly. You want a one-eared mini nightlight? You know you do. There might be somebody out there that wants Somebody. Freakish mini mouse. This Kleenex is clearly salvage. They're, they're hand towel tissues. I've never seen this before. So you put it on your towel rack. And it's got this angled box. So it hangs like this and sits on your towel rack. And then you out. That is the coolest. I didn't even know they made those. Learn something new every day. All right. Cotton balls open. So that will go in my cupboard. Uh, some lids that don't match any totes. But I'm wondering, I bought two other um, pallets. I may find the totes in another pallet. So uh, here's a picture frame. That's been taped. It's broken. So there's the salvage you're going to find. Um, let me see. Kleenex. More of those Kleenex paper towels. Kleenex paper towels. So we found a few good things in here. Um, not as much as I'd like. This is a doorknob. Master lock. Go check that out. Some more feminine products here that will get donated. So I do know that he, um, on his first load that he ordered, he was not pleased with the condition. So he was on the hunt for stuff that's in much better condition. He showed me pictures of the new load he got. Awesome. So we plan on going down there this week and checking that out. So I'll wait for the video to come out where we kind of tour his new load. Um, but I think we're going to get better stuff. But like I said, great deal on the on this one. Here's two sets of Nerf guns. These do sell well on eBay. Can't sell them on Amazon. I think Nerf is restricted on Amazon for um, just the Nerf company. But those do sell well. Okay. And then... What's that silver thing? That's a, a trash can? advanced accuracy monitor. Oh, it's a this is a blood pressure cuff. Those always go very well. Yeah, these sell awesome, even used. I wonder if it's got batteries in it. Oh, turn it on. Turn it right on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. I hear it. I don't know if they can. It's, yeah, here. And now you can probably hear it. Yeah. And it's squishing. 
I yeah. didn't put it on my arm, so I don't know could if it. Could have been return. Could have been the. Yeah, maybe. Model. Could have been. I don't know. It's working good though. Let's see. This is a trash can, but it's. Oh no, it's a bread box that got dented and cracked. Yeah. So, that's trash. Garbage. All right. And then wireless selfie stick. No, not a wireless selfie stick. Selfie stick box. It's the invisible wireless selfie stick. Some beach towels that still have the tags on them. That's good. So just out of season. Uh, another lid. What is this? I feel like there's a picture on this. Batman. That thing is huge. It's enormous. Yeah, I want to pick it up. So. Hold it completely up, Heather. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Hold it up, <laughs> okay. I'm holding. Hold it up high. Get it off the ground. Just. Don't let it touch the ground. <laughs> I can't. Listen, I'm a midget. I can't. I'm tiny. I'm tiny. Okay. Short person. All right. More. Looks like another beach towel. Ooh, what's something in there? Beach towel here with the tag on it still. So these are Amazonable right there. I will poly bag them, probably ship those in. Um, what is this? Pillow sham. I was looking to see. I bet it goes with this. Maybe. I'll look. Um, mystery bag in a minute. And then the rest are hangers, which I think I could sell as a set. If you wanted to sell like a grouping of brand new hangers, you could, you know, like grouping a 20 or 25 on Facebook Marketplace. You could probably get... Who's that right down there? What? This? It looks like a quarter. It is a quarter. Oh, look! I have already made 25 <laughs> cents without hardly any work. Bam! 25 cents. See? Comes with coins. Never, never found money. Never found money, actually. Found money what is this? What is this? It's like an Alexa? Yeah. It's a, it's a Google. What's the Google one? I have Alexa. Siri? What is the Google one? Echo? No, that's what we have. It's the um, Google. Somebody knows. Yeah, it's it the Alexa for Google. I don't think so. Should we see if it works? We plug it in. Yeah, you want to? See if it says... I feel like I was looking these up before I decided to buy the Alexa. Do I have it off? On? Yeah, it come, it's coming on. Yeah. Tell me what this one is. It has the Google thing. Google Home or Google Select or... I don't know. Should I ask mine? <laughs> hey Alexa, what's the Google version of you? I don't have an opinion on that. <laughs> it doesn't want to tell me. It's jealous now because there's another one in here. Okay. All right, <laughs> that's what it is. They're gonna have they're gonna have a machine war, like Terminator Judgment Day. When I'm gone, they're gonna start just beating each other up, right? All right. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be probably put on Hooked on Pickin', especially all the stuff that's easily resellable. Check out my second video. I really I will go down and actually break down how much everything is, see if we can make back our four hundred dollars and just see where we're at. Now salvage, I just bought this because I'm really interested in the condition. This palette had uh, the least amount of items in it. I know some of the other palettes I bought were maxed out. Check out this one here. This one here and this one here will also from him for the same price. And so I definitely think there's a little bit more room to make money on these ones here. And so um, I will be unboxing those as well. He bought a whole truckload and these were just three that I picked. So I kind of wanted a variety. Really, I wanted Sven. <laughs> that was the main reason I bought this one. So I was willing to buy a few items less. So we're going to go through, break it down, watch my second video. But hopefully it's been helpful to see what I got from my new liquidator, Karcher Cycling. Uh, and remember, in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. 
Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.